All right, before diving into today's uh, subject, I want to take a little bit to talk about the Stanley Cup playoff. I know I'm not the greatest of hockey fanatics, Joe, that would be you, but I want to say a couple thoughts that I... Number one, uh, the Boston Bruins, I understand that they were a late season push for the playoffs, and a lot of people are saying, don't believe those late season pushes. Well, to take a page from baseball, that's not entirely true. The two World Series for the Marlins were wild card wins. And also, let's not forget some up late pushes from the Kansas City Royals in 2015, the New York Yankees all the way back in 1978. As with any other sport, the playoffs are who's the hot hand, who is hot for all the games that they need to win for the Stanley Cup playoffs. Two, while I am a New Jersey fan and will be rooting for the Devils because I don't really care too much about any other team. My pick that I will be rooting for completely are the Las Vegas Golden Knights. As I've said several times, they are the Cinderella story of expansion teams. The only expansion team, to my knowledge, that in their first season of competitive play, they made the playoffs. And not only made the playoffs, they completely dominated their division. So it would be a great story if they went deep into the playoffs or even made to or won the Stanley Cup Finals. But hockey isn't the only thing that's in the news and this topic actually came from yesterday and that is that tempers have already started to flare in baseball. Already we've had three fights in Major League Baseball, two of which happened yesterday. The first one, the easiest one, was Yadier Molina getting into it with Tori Lovello over something he said while Lovello was being ejected. Nolan Arenado uh, charged the mound when a pitch was thrown behind his back and then later that night in the Boston Yankee game. Uh, Tyler Austin had what the Red Sox thought was a dirty slide. They actually checked in New York to see if it was a dirty slide, which kudos to MLB for that. Then in the seventh inning, they tried to throw at him. They initially missed, and then they plunked him hard. And Austin took a second and then charged the mound and started an even worse fight than the Colorado game. Now, there are several reasons for many of these fights, but the Boston one's what I want to talk about, and that is Something from last year, because this reminded me of something very similar that happened just last year. About 11 months ago, the Orioles and the Red Sox got into a really heated back and forth. Started with Chris Sale and Manny Machado, escalated to the point where a Red Sox pitcher tried to throw at a batter, but missed consecutive times and then hit him, which this happened again, that when they went to throw at Austin, the first time they missed, and then the next time they hit him. I wouldn't, now I wouldn't say anything of it, except there was a little asterisk after all the fighting was done, in which the Red Sox skipper, Alex Cora, they were arguing and Cora was making gestures and yelling at him like, stay in your box or get out of the game. That tells me a little bit that some of the clubhouse trouble in the Red Sox here may not have gone completely away with the change of the season and manager. It seems like while maybe the clubhouse vibe is improved, especially with their current 9-2 and two record, the leadership at the top of the coaching staff might need to be acting a little more maturely. Because if Cora keeps doing this, we're probably going to see one of the ugliest rivalries of any point of the Yankees-Red Sox. Remember that they that core is remember that core has been hired by the front office to make their decisions on the field. Same thing with Aaron Boone in New York, same thing with several other managers that have been recently hired. Therefore, we're going to see core for more than a few years and I don't think Aaron Boone is going to forget. Last thing I'll say about this fight though. Kudos to Aaron Judge and Giancarlo Stanton for playing peacekeeper. And sort of using their giant six foot six, six foot seven frames to push the Red Sox back into the dugout. Anyway, that's it for me. Joe, I'll see you next time.